How did each of you come to this project? Uh, well, uh, Alfonso first came to see me before he had finished the script. Um, he was in the middle of it and he had a pretty good idea of the story because uh, when he came to see me, we sat down uh, in, in a, you know, on a couple of sofas and he, I just remember him talking through the story for 45 minutes with me uh, and even then it was breathtaking. Uh, I remember coming out of the meeting feeling excited, you know, just, just having heard the story, really. And, uh, you know, at that stage, he was still thinking it was going to be a very simple and very quick and easy film to make. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, you know, we, we were soon to discover otherwise. <laughs> and Max? Um, I joined, um, I was, I think, the second or third animator to join the previous team. Um, one, he's, Alfonso sat in a, in a small room with an animator, I was supervising another project in parallel and I was sort of seeing what they were doing and getting quite excited about it and thinking in the back of my mind, I want to get on that project uh, when I finished the one I was supervising. Um, that was in early 2010, it was a long time ago. Yeah. And um, for me, I, my background's in um, editing, uh, but I had also uh, done some uh, visual effects editing and so, uh, and I'd indeed I'd worked uh, for Alfonso um, as a visual effects editor on Children of Men. I think for this particular project, Alfonso realised, you know, um, that his co-editor was going to have to be somebody who not only understood editing and the the workings of editing, but also um, the background to uh, to visual effects. And um, I happened to know Tim as well. Um, which which helped, and so yeah, Alfonso called me at home, and um, I went through it, and yeah, he he said to me also, um, it's going to be a six week shoot. Um, <laughs> it's going to be um, a yeah, skeleton crew. Uh, it's going to be in black and white. It's going to be so cool, man. There was three main challenges to it. Really, there was the fact that it was set in space, which is not very far away, but it's not a location you can go and film in easily. Um, although Alfonso did consider it. Um, <laughs> uh, it, you know, it's set in zero gravity. Uh, it, it has incredibly long shots in it. Um, you know, Alfonso was pushing the technique he'd developed on earlier films to, to use the long roaming developing shots as, as a technique for storytelling. Um, and those, those, you know, were the immediate challenges. And I think you'll see, see all of them in this. And yeah, you know, they, those challenges didn't just add together, they actually multiplied each other, particularly the long shots. It just added complexity to everything else that you did in the movie. Um, and, uh, you know, that was part of what we didn't realise, just how challenging it was going to be at the beginning. The, the fact that it was set in space was clear from the beginning, and Alfonso, Alfonso's initial idea was he wanted to suspend the actors in full spacesuits from wires, uh, in front of a partial build of the Hubble, you know, on, on a stage against green screen, and we would sort of extend the Hubble and put the Earth in the background. Um, but, uh, you know, so, so set, creating space around them fairly straightforward. What we started to learn from this, though, is, as we started to work out how we were going to make it, was just how complicated zero gravity was going to be and how much everything is different when you've got actors upside down and, and how hard that was going to be to shoot. And we also started to realize uh, something that Alfonso hadn't told us uh, fully to begin with was just the extent to which he was going to do the long shots. It wasn't even children of men long shots. It was going well beyond that. In fact, just to give everyone an idea, um, the movie, you know, typical movies these days have 2,000 shots in. This had about 350. Um, the opening shot is nearly 13 minutes long, and and 70% of the movie, so seven zero percent of the movie is made up of 17 shots. Um, that's you know, so as a, it's not just one opening shot; it was a lot of long shots.